morning. So it's Tuesday today and I uh, had a right good day yesterday. Got all this uh, washing done, got everything here washed, uh, finished washing in the shed. Dan did a fair bit on the weekend uh, with the walls and uh, I just finished off all the uh, nest boxes and uh, drinkers and stuff um, yesterday so I had a quite a good day so I managed to get a load of um, got my cows scraped out as well and done that and uh, and then uh, oh I've also finally um, got the got the uh, pens mucked out in the warehouse what do you want dog he's annoyed because uh, I keep telling uh, keep encouraging Jip to chase him Kemlin only wants to race he just wants to compete and race all the time if he's not chasing sheep he wants to just be racing Jip but Jip isn't always dead keen to race unless you give him a little bit of encouragement. Ooh, get it! <laughs> he knows he's the dominant dog, but it, at the same time, I think he knows he can't beat Camden in a race. So they've got a bit of an odd relationship, these two dogs. I often wonder what Kevin would be like if he was on his own. He'd probably go a bit weird, go a bit do lally. He's a bit of an obsessive collie. Jip was never really like that. He's not particularly obsessive. He's quite a normal sort of uh, pet, really, Jip. But uh, Collie's, uh, Kemlin's definitely not the uh, working gene. And if you don't put him to work, they put themselves to work doing strange things sometimes. So, right, I'm just going to put some disinfectant in this water um, and then just sort of whiz over everything with a bit of a foamy, just a light foamy spray, just to give everything a quick disinfectant. Uh, and then I can start carrying all the stuff back into the shed. Uh, and then it's ready to move back into place, hopefully. So, that's what I'm doing. disinfectants so uh, I'm just going to collect my eggs now and then feed my cows and then hopefully get everything put back in the shed right that's all the eggs rolled off so we'll go and uh, feed the cows feed the pigs and then have some breakfast right had lunch so it's early afternoon now uh, it's time for me to put all these things back in the shed so Put it on time lapse and we'll carry it all in.
that's all them. Concrete's clear again. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having a go if I get time. I don't know whether I'll have time. Uh, but I wanted to maybe concrete just a square pad. You okay? Uh, for the for the feed bin. Oh, that reminds me. I haven't washed the feed bin. I normally like to wash them out uh, while it's empty. I might do that. But yeah, just because the. They seem to, they, I have them sat on blocks and pieces of wood and stuff, but they do, they seem to sink and move and I just, I wanted, if I had time, to just do a con concrete pad, just a, like a three or four inch concrete pad, uh, to um, sit the bin on, because you got, you have to have it elevated so that you can get a bucket underneath it to um, drain it out, if you ever want to drain it out. So that's why it sort of stands up on a load of blocks uh, the, the last shed we did we I concreted the I sort of cemented the blocks together and that's that seems to stand a lot more stable uh, whereas the one on the first shed I caught it the other day and the whole thing fell over it's like the leaning tower of Pisa so it would just be better this dog won't leave me alone it would just be better if um, it had a you know, a concrete footing to stand on, but anyway. Right, I think I'll roll this pipe up now because what I've got left in this tub is disinfectant, which I don't really need because of foamy disinfectant. Um, don't really need that to wash the outside of the feed bin off, so what I might do is take that down to the warehouse calf shed because I want to. I'm hoping this week, if I get time, to get the calves that are in there, some of them weaned, some of them moved, uh, and then I'll use this uh, disinfectant in there to um, wash out. I might as well use it instead of throwing it away to wash the calf pens once I've uh, washed all that off. So I'm just going to roll this uh, pipe up and we will relocate. I got this pen mucked out uh, yesterday, among other things, so this, uh, as soon as I start talking he comes up to me, maybe he thinks I'm talking to him, that's what it is, he's done it, every time I turn the camera on he's come running up to me and I just feel his nose nudge me and, I think he thinks that, I don't know, maybe he thinks I'm talking to him, he can talk to me dogs. Uh, yeah, so so yeah, I took all the muck out of here because it was quite dry and put it in the passageway. So I was hoping by today it'll have dried out enough to uh, get some calves put in here. So my plan is to well, I need to put that hay rack back where it was, and then I'm going to uh, this bunch are destined to go into there. So my plan is. Uh, I'm going to feed these for the last time and then everything apart from these two here and that little one there, 668, are going to be weaned because they've been here for two months and they were two or three weeks old when they come here. Some of them a bit older, that one was nearly a month old, that one, so he's well ready to be weaned in this Hereford. Um, they all want dehorning but I don't know. I'm, might get the vets to come and do it. This lot need dehorning and castrating, so yeah, everything in the shed. I think these two bunches will probably need TB testing because they've got to be post uh, post moved because I've brought them on to a low TB area. Um, they used to send you letters to tell you when to um, when when they needed doing, but I don't think they do anymore. You've got to just work it out yourself. So it's a blooming nightmare if you're buying cars all the time. It's a nightmare trying to keep track of it because you want to try. You've got to pay for the test, so you want to try and do as many as you can all in one go. But the most I think I'll be able to do is these two pens because they've got to be between 60 days and 120 days of being on the holding, I think. So. 
anyway, so, and then the three little ones. The main one is, uh, is this one here, which is the one that got quite bad pneumonia. I thought it was going to die. Um, so he's nowhere near as big as the others, and I just think he wants a bit longer on milk. But I want this, I want them out of the way so that I can get this washed out and get the next bunch in. So I'm just going to make a temporary pen down here to put those three in. Just to, the other two are just the, the other two small ones, really, just to keep them company. And I'll keep these on probably just once a day milk for another couple of weeks. And then eventually they'll all go back in with the, with the mob. So that's my plan. So they're just going to have their last feed now. For the last week or so they've been on three feeds in two days. So they get fed like early and late one day and then in the middle of the day or mid-afternoon the next day. And to be fair, they've settled down. I mean, I've come in here to feed them. It's mi it's mid-afternoon. And uh, some of them have got up. They're not bawling at me at all. So I think they're ready. They're ready to uh, be weaned. They're eating plenty of corn. They're eating loads of corn now. I'm drinking loads of water, so I'm quite happy. So yeah, we'll get on with the last feed and maybe move some of them across. About a week ago I said that I must remember to put a clip in that. Uh, and I've only just done it now. So I've just put some straw in and remembered that I haven't done it. There's actually one missing off here. I'm sure there used to be pins in both these kids. So I don't know where they've gone. I think more than likely I've lift taken the pins out to lift the gate off and I've been mucking out and then I've put it down somewhere and I can't remember where. I'll probably find it in about 10 years time. But yeah, this is I don't think this is the original gate that was that was on here because that's why the hinges the bottom hinge is really close to the top so you've got to put a bit of a spacer in to stop it coming off. It's not the original gate I think. I've, that's the gate that I've shortened. That, this was the original gate. Can't really remember now. But yeah, anyway, it's done now. They've got some straw, so they should be happy for a few days. I've just put a few uh, screws in the tin. It's just a, a roof sheet tin up against the um, those gates, just to keep the muck away from the straw that I put there years ago. Just as a temporary thing, and then it's still there now. Uh, but they were just pulling it away from the gate, so I've just put a few more tech screws in it to keep it there for a bit longer. So yeah, we're getting a bit down a bit on our first cut bales. Uh, that's all we've got left. And we'll be on the second cut, which to be fair, we've done pretty well. You know, we're, we're only like, in theory, two months off from cutting first cut again. So it's quite amazing that we've still got some left and we've got more cattle. But I'm hoping to, um, if, if we can ever get on the ground, get some fertiliser on and get as much silage as we can get because I'm really wanting to stock up for this winter. So, land's in short supply around here. I'm talking to the camera again, so here's my dog. But yeah, I should have them all out of the way and get that hedge all cut and tidied up, ready for putting uh, this year's bales there again. Don't know where I'm going to put second cut. No, we'll have to... Uh, Think of something near at a time. to the calf shed I've got my rat trap uh, tunnel because I'm going to set it up down there somewhere 
I caught one big rat up in my pig shed the other night um, with it and since then I haven't seen one and I know there's more there because that, that night that I caught that one I went in the shed and there must have been about six or seven of them ran out but they run up the walls and go out the roof um, it's just one of them decided to run through my tunnel unfortunately for him um, but yeah since that I've got that one I haven't seen a single one so it seems to have disappeared so I'm going to relocate it down to me car shed because there's loads down there they all go running along the um, back wall because over there behind the car shed there's a there's a bank of soil and I think that's where all the runs are and they just jump out between the uh, Yorkshire boards and they're away so I've just got to try and figure out a way of setting up the tunnel to force them to run through it so I might have to just put some bales in place or something uh, and I'm just finishing the job I started weeks ago just made some more brackets to put on uh, my wall here to stop, stop the cattle pushing these boards I've done uh, I think I've done four three or four bays Seven, seven bays I'm using all together that have got boards on them so I just made another two so before I bring calves into here I thought I'd just finish the job off and brought some more bolts down because I keep bringing the wrong size bolts I'm sure I have done this one but it doesn't seem to have a bolt in it so whether I forgot to put the bolt in or whether the cattle have undone it and pushed it out I don't know I'll go and have a look These are the runs, but the problem is that they can just jump through the gaps in these Yorkshire boards. So there's no way of uh, catching them there really. I need to uh, set it up somewhere else. Done every bay you now. Oh no, I haven't. There's still one more. Blast. Still this bay. I should have done this one actually because this one's probably more important. Which ones have I done? Done this one here. Mm, done as many as I thought. Anyway, not to worry. So there's two two more bays to do so I've done one two three four five done five five out of seven so I need to cut two more pieces of angle but anyway I'll do that another day jobs are good for now
Right, so I've got to move. Got these out of it. Got me three down there in the new pen. I'm going to put some straw in it now. So I'll keep them on milk. These can all be weaned. Because they're more than ready, I think. And then hopefully get this mucked out and washed out in the next day or two, really. And then uh, get restocked as soon as possible. I can't muck it out today because I haven't got an empty trailer. Unless I put it somewhere. But I can get all the gates and everything moved. I'm to do anyway. So, right, I'll get all, all this tied up and then, and then keep going. I don't know how much you can see. I've turned the lights off now, but I put me, me trap there because I quite often see him at night running along the edge of this wall. And then I think they go out and round. Yeah, so my uh, camera died then. I was just going to uh, show you where I put my rat trap, so we'll see how that goes. So, yeah, it's the end of the day now. It's blooming raining again. It's absolutely chucking it down. So, I'll just, just finish in my hen jobs and then I'll finish this video here. So, thanks for watching. This is... Uh, it's actually my 100th video this, I think I've done a 100 of these nonsense videos. So yeah, I don't know why or why, what I'm doing or why I'm doing it, but it's, uh, it's a good laugh, so I'll probably keep making them, why not? Uh, but those of you who do watch them, thanks for watching and uh, I'll uh, keep on going. Pray for some dry weather. Hopefully I'll get some new calves soon and I've got that to look forward to, so yeah. Bye for now.